we love Peewee Toms. This little message here was waiting for me when I got to the airport yesterday. It was waiting for me uh, with two of the cutest little kids, Stefano and Sophia, and their mummy. Uh, they waited for me at the airport yesterday. I don't want to smash it because I, I want to keep it forever. Um, it's amazing, it made my day. Um, they were waiting for me at the airport. I heard this like, I got off the plane and I heard this like shout, Dan! And I was like, I, I did this with my eyes, as I do, trying to keep my head down. Don't want to get papped now, do I? Uh, obviously, I'm joking. I'm, I'm, I'm not ever going to get papped. Um, but yeah, I heard my name and I was like, it can't be my name. That's just crazy. Got onto the little bus that they do going around to the terminal. And then I got around to the terminal, got into arrivals, and this, this lovely lady approached me and she was like, would you uh, uh, say hi to my uh, kids? And they were holding up a sign. That sign that I've just shown you, this one, uh, this sign, we love Pee Wee Toms. And it was amazing. I, I, I genuinely can't believe that someone would take the time to come and meet me at the airport. My mum was amazed as well. My whole family, really, to be fair, were amazed. Um, amazing. And they were taking the Mickey out of Matt with their glasses all wonky from the video before and just being silly. It was uh, awesome. Love you lots, kids. You are amazing. Your mother's amazing for bringing you. And thank you so much. You, you boosh. Uh, I've, I've got your email address. I will sort you out, guys. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, flipping heck, what's going on? Right, I'm back from Paris. I've got to go tomorrow to see the specialists at Royal Marsden in London. Um, I'm very, very sick. Uh, I've got new growth uh, under my arm and in my back again. Uh, I've still got this, uh, this whole issue with my neck, uh, my eye and everything going wrong. Um, I'm losing hearing quite rapidly. Um, so everyone thinks I'm ignoring them, which is really funny because I'm like, what? Say what? Say what? And today I've been really fatigued. Uh, I keep sleeping. I need to sleep a lot. Um, whilst I was away in Paris, I kept falling asleep in like McDonald's when everyone else was eating and like in shops, in taxis, everywhere. I could just catch a nap. I was catching a nap. I was knackered. Uh, f so fatigued. So just gone with fairies. And it's, it's just a shame really because my life has gone so far from what it used to be now, I have no idea what I used to be like. And that doesn't mean that I don't remember what I was like or anything like that, it just means that my life has just changed and I have to deal with it. But tomorrow is kind of like D-Day. There is every chance that they could say that they won't do anything or don't know what to do. Um, and that is a worry and a concern in itself. So. I kind of need to work on coping mechanism, I guess, with that. So we need to know what's going on really first of all with that. We know my body is literally riddled with cancer now, unfortunately, and it's affecting lots of different parts of my body. Um, it's, it's hard. It's not an easy thing to go through. It's, it's a hard thing to go through. Um, it's kind of like we know there's no options now so I want to grab at anything uh, that I can physically do and I know that I've not got long left to live without intervention from something um, and that's hard to handle that's hard to stomach that's actually making me feel like I'm gonna vomit right now um, But what can you do without, you've got to try everything, haven't you? You've got to have that don't give in, don't give up attitude. And you don't want to give in and you don't want to give up and you don't want to say no. But how much can the body physically take? And that's the problem now. How much of my body is left to take this like tough abuse of like the cancer then treatment and all this other stuff. How much can my body take? Uh, in this whole situation and how far can we take it to try and fix it so now it's kind of like we are all holding out to try and get these some of these tumors out which we know that get them out again 
so as they can go and be tested again, DNA sequenced and everything to see if we can target this thing properly. Um, we're going to try and target it some other way uh, to try and prolong my life, else I really won't, and this is like really, really crazy, I really won't have that much time left to do it. Um, I've gone out of focus, I apologise. Um, so, it swings and roundabouts, it's just like really, really infuriating, worrying, concerning, it's obviously a worry for my mum and everyone, and that, that sucks, and yeah, it just sucks, really, to be honest, and I want to eat food, and I can't eat food because I feel sick, so yeah. I'm in London tomorrow anyway, so I'll I'll do a crazy cool vlog and I'll try not get arrested with my drone. Um who knows, eh? Who knows? But uh I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a lovely day. Enjoy yourselves. Continue to like, love, subscribe, and comment on my videos. I love it and all of you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much for building this channel up so much. It's amazing, and I really do appreciate it. I just wish I was a bit healthier. Unfortunately, I'm not. So, that's that. But anyway, everyone, I'll see you tomorrow for a lovely, awesome vlog. And, yeah, love you long time. See you later. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Thank you. See you later. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Okay, now. Bye.